Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Saturday. It is Saturday, June 24th and starting off today with a, a nice contemplative song, Be Still and Know That I Am God. Uh, that was off of, uh, not sure who Christopher Walker is, but if you're looking for that album, it's Christopher Walken, Love Beyond Knowledge. So today we're going to be looking um, at Mark 6 and the importance of purposeful quiet, of taking time to set ourselves away and be quiet and still. Um, so I invite you uh, to turn to Mark 6 and let me say good morning to my Saturday crew. Good morning, Donna, praying for you this morning and Blanca, I'm glad you're with us, praying for you as well. Good morning, Barbara. It's good to have you here holding you in prayer and Priscilla. I'm glad you're with us holding you in prayer as well. Good morning, Yolette. Just so good to have you with us. I'm praying for continued strength in the days ahead and so glad everything's going well for you. Uh, we're, we're all praying for you. So welcome. Good morning, Shelly. I'm glad you're here holding you in prayer for continued healing. And Susan, I'm so glad you're with us as well, praying for you this day. Good morning, Free. Uh, always good to see your name, praying for you as well. Um, I'm glad you're here today. So we're going to take a look at um, Mark chapter 6. And uh, just... As you're opening up to Mark 6, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as a pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. If you're looking for a church, our building is on the corner of George and Liberty uh, Street in the heart of the city of New Brunswick, across from the State Theater and the Heldridge and the Performing Arts Center. Um, we're the large church with the red doors. So join us tomorrow on Sunday. We'll be worshiping at 11 a.m and uh, celebrating our music and worship ministry tomorrow. So we'd love to see you for worship, but I'm glad you're with us right now. So we're going to take a look at Mark 6. Now, prior to uh, the scripture, the part of scripture that I'm going to be reading, uh, the disciples had been sent out and they were healing and they were busy, really, really busy. Um, in addition to that, we also hear about uh, John the Baptist uh, and what had happened to him by King Herod. And so the disciples now come to Jesus. Not only are they exhausted from all the work that they're doing, but they are also in grief. They are grieving the loss of their good friend. And this is where we are in scripture. And so Mark 6.31 uh, is where I'll start. Mark 6.31, the apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat. Come away with me to a quiet place and get some rest. So our devotion today is called Purposeful Quiet. Uh, comes from Joyce Meyer's Strength for Each Day. And this is what she says. She says, the world we live in today is very noisy. In light of that, I think we must purposeful, purposefully take time for periods of quiet. I love quiet. And it helps restore me when I am tired. Getting good quality rest is impossible without some quiet to go along with it. We can sit down in a chair or lie in a bed to rest our bodies. But if our souls are busy worrying, then we have no peace and we will not be rested when we get up. This verse tells us that we need time alone. Time that is quiet and restful. I have found that when we don't have quietness, stress builds up in us to a place where it can make us sick 
and even unhappy. Quiet surroundings help us calm our souls. Maintaining balance in our lives is vital. The King James Version of the Bible says, let your moderation be known unto all. Excess is an open door for the enemy to wreak havoc in our lives and it always leads to problems of some kind. We need to think and plan, but excessive thinking and planning becomes a problem. We need activity, but we also need rest. God has given us the fruit of self-control, Galatians 5, through 23, and we should use it to maintain balance in our lives. In the midst of everything you do, And while living your busy life, I urge you to plan quiet times to be alone. And while, I'm sorry, and let your soul rest. Resting internally is just as important as resting externally. Our bodies do need rest, but so do our minds and our emotions. So plan a daily vacation for your soul. It will help you more than you can imagine. So yesterday, Fridays are my day off, and uh, yesterday I went to the um, the canal path that runs from like New Brunswick down to Trenton. I didn't go that far, but um, I got a chance to go out on the, the path. I actually went with Stephen. He has a kayak now, so he went to kayak and I went to run, and it's so still there and so... I mean, we had a little bit of rain, but actually that was kind of nice. But I like to go there because it feeds my soul. It's still and it's quiet. And I love to see these tiny little turtles. Uh, They weren't there yesterday, but when it's sunny, they perch on the little tree tree, uh, stumps that have fallen into the water. And they, they, they lean their heads up to the sun so they can feel the warmth of the sun. And I just love, you know, being on that trail and experiencing uh, the beauty of God's creation. But it's also this wonderful stillness that I don't get, even in our house, because we live right on uh, a main, Route 130, so it's a highway. But um, it's really nice and quiet there. And it feeds my soul. Now, let me be honest with you. There are times that I've been on that trail when I'm thinking about things, worried about things, busy planning things, and I leave and I don't feel any stillness at all because although I have gone to rest, I don't really rest. My brain is working 10 miles a minute. And I I actually remember times where I've had to stop and take phone calls for things that I'm working on and and I've left there thinking there, there's no rest in this. We need, not only do we need bodily rest, we need to rest our minds. What the disciples were experiencing that day, they had poured out so much. They were teaching and they were healing and they were being present with people. And now they're also grieving. And It must have been so hard for them to slow down. But Jesus tells them, this is important. You're not going to be able to do what I need you to do and what you're called to do if you don't take time to rest. Rest your body. Rest your mind and your soul. And in that resting, so I started with be still, which is Psalm 46. In that resting, in that stillness, you will be fully present with God. And God will be able to pour back into you. All that has been poured out will be poured back. But if you don't take that time, you will hit a wall. And friends... I have hit those walls before. They're not good things. Take time 
to rest. Now, maybe you're working today and maybe tomorrow's your rest day. Or maybe you can just find five or ten minutes today to be still, to be present, to breathe, <laughs> and ask God to pour back into you all that you need for the journey ahead. Let's pray. God, we come this morning in need of rest, in need of the true rest, the true peace that comes from you. There are days, Lord, where it feels as if our bodies and our minds are running so fast that we will never be able to have what we need to keep moving, that we will run out. And sometimes, Lord, we do. But we come this day asking for your peace, asking for your rest, asking that in the stillness of this moment, we might hear your voice, we might experience your Holy Spirit resting within us. Lord, we need you. We need your strength. We need your courage. And most of all, we need your peace. Pour your peace today into each person that comes onto this call. Pour your peace to our bodies, to our hearts and our minds, that we might know the fullness that you want to give us. Help us, Lord, to rest in you this day. We ask all of this in your name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So my prayer for each one of you is that you will find moments of true rest this day. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Have a very blessed day, and um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 11 for worship. I'm going to be away Sunday night to Monday night, so uh, I'll be back with you for prayer and devotion on Tuesday. Um, but I will see you then. Have a good one. Bye, friends.